this week on Real Life with Type 2 Diabetes. 4.8. This morning I had a full coffee. My A1C is on. I am exhausted for three more weeks. Five point eight. Good morning. It is day one of week number 10. I just finished my one shot of coffee and I am heading out for a walk now. It's only 8 a.m. and then I'm coming home and we're taking a drive, a one hour drive to head to Costco finally uh, as it's open today. So I will check in with you later, but I am getting my walk in now. These early morning walks are the best. It's so nice and fresh outside. It's beautiful in the morning. Um, not too many people running around. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's still a little cool, so I don't get too hot. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Look at that sunshine. So I went to Costco and I'm gonna show you what I got. Almond flour, I got some cheese, I got some Gruyere, two packs. I got some omega-3 fish oils. Uh, that's not mine, that was already here. Uh, olives, I got some onion dip. Uh, beets for my partner. I got some Dubliner cheese was on sale. Keto crackers, I think they're four net carbs for five crackers. Vitamin C's for my partner. I got some pepperoni sticks, cheese folio wraps, chicken wings, more cheese, brie, blue cheese, and heavy cream. Well, that's all I got today. I didn't get as much meat as we got meat this week at another grocery store. Hello, so it is day number one of week number 10. I can't believe we're on week number 10. It's basically three more weeks and then this is gonna end. I'll probably still do some more videos, but I won't do these weekly check-ins. And I will probably have my A1C results at the end of week number 12. So I'm excited about that. As you know, I told you last week, I do have my blood work appointment on April 22nd. So hopefully that's the end of week 12. Hopefully I'll have my results for you in that same week. Whether they're good or bad, I'm gonna share them and we'll see from there. <laughs> As you saw, I went for my walk today. I went to Costco today. Uh, for dinner tonight, I'm probably gonna have some chicken wings I bought from Costco and probably some veggies. And blood sugars today are 5.8, which isn't bad considering that I had a venti americano today because i went to costco and when i go to costco there's starbucks around so i got another coffee i had my coffee this morning i had a venti 5.8 hey that's pretty good i'm not gonna let the worry about coffee affect me a little too much i'm just going to enjoy it if i want most days i'm gonna have one coffee in the morning with no sweeteners in it and that'll be the end of it. However, some days if I'm out and about and I wanna grab a coffee, I'm not gonna to worry too much that it's gonna spike my blood sugar as long as I'm not eating anything else that's uh, high in carbs. This coffee was a venti americano. I had three sweeteners in it, that's Splenda and heavy cream. So yeah, 5.8, I'll take it. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow. Today's snack lunch is some keto crackers, dip, some mozzarella, two pepperoni sticks, and I still have some of that uh, spaghetti, zucchini spaghetti with the asparagus left, and I'm just trying to finish it off today. And that's all I'm having for my lunch today. Hey, it's day number two of week 10, and I just got back from a walk. As you saw today for lunch, I had some pepperoni sticks, some cheese, I had some crackers and dip. I've been feeling kind of under the weather today, just feeling groggy and tired. I'm not sure why, although I pushed myself to go for a walk. I've been editing videos all day, so I'm just going to do a quick check-in and I'll uh, call it a night. It's currently 5 p.m., so for dinner tonight, I think we're just having some bacon and eggs. And that might be why. That's 
pretty low, 4.8. Don't think I've ever seen 4.8 in a long time. Maybe that's why I'm not feeling good. Um, although I did just come back from my walk, but usually when I come back from my walk, my blood sugars seem to be elevated. 4.8 is okay. I'm going to monitor it to make sure I don't go too low. And if I do feel hungry right away, I'll eat something. In any case, I will check in with you tomorrow. Good morning. It is day number three of week 10. And I just finished my coffee and I'm now heading out to go grocery shopping. And today is a recipe shooting day. And today I'm making roasted veggies with chicken and I'm also going to be making uh, lemon rosemary scones. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I am done for the day. Um, all done shooting, just doing some cleanup and taking stuff down. And then I'm going for my walk. My feet are sore. Well, hello, just back from my walk. I went for a full hour and I am exhausted. You can probably still see my hat head around my hat, around my head as I was wearing a hat. I'm gonna go take a nap now after I check my blood sugars. However, I'm a little worried my blood sugars might be high as I think I went a little off today. I didn't eat too much, although I was nibbling on this and that, mostly those uh, lemon rosemary scone cookies I made. <laughs> I was nibbling a little, probably a little too much on that. Um, but we'll see. I went for my long walk. I am exhausted. I'm tired. So we'll see how the blood sugars are. They're probably a little wonky. I wouldn't be surprised if they're high. Although, you know, sometimes I'm shocked and they're really low, like yesterday was. <laughs> so, you just never know. And my numbers are at eh, 5.9. I'll take that. I am happy whenever it's under six. Uh, so that's good. Um, I'm sure it'll go down once I rest a little more as I think I'm, my heart's still pumping. I'm elevated because I was walking really fast and I went for a full hour and it's hot out. It's 20 degrees Celsius right now. For dinner tonight, I am having the roasted chicken with lemon and rosemary that I made for my recipe that'll be linked down below. I'm having that for dinner tonight and that should be it. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Today's lunch is a cheese folio wrap wrapped in bacon. I had two of those and then I had two strips of bacon all made in the air fryer. And it's a late lunch. It's 1230. So I'm eating lunch late as I was working and I still got to go back to work and do more and then I'm going to go for a walk. Hey, it's just after 5 p.m. I just got home from my walk. It was a busy day today editing uh, some blog posts for the lemon focaccia and the zucchini pasta. Those will be on week number nine's video if you want to look for the links or the YouTube videos will be posted as well. Today for lunch, as you saw, I had the cheese wrapped with bacon. After that, I had a tablespoon of peanut butter. This morning, I had a full coffee, 5.6. That's great, liking these numbers in the five ranges. My walk I went on was about just over an hour, which was a really good walk. It's probably 24 degrees Celsius right now. It's a beautiful day. So for dinner tonight, I'm having some leftover breakfast sausages and some leftover roasted veggies. That's exciting as my dinner is going to be tonight. Lunch today is just uh, some cured meat, slices, and a cheese folio wrap. Nothing in it, just the wrap. <laughs> That's all I'm having for lunch today. Hey, it's day number five and I am just about to check my blood sugars. It is 4 p.m. Oh, I made some Simply Delish. They have this new unflavored flavor. <laughs> so it's kind of limitless in terms of what kind of flavors you want to add to it. So I was playing around with that and I actually made 
a um, gel dessert with um, electrolytes in them. Uh, berry electrolytes. So I added berry electrolytes to the mix and with some water, one third uh, room temperature water, one and one third boiling water and now it's in the fridge cooling. Don't forget I have a discount code down below if you want 10% off Simply Delish Desserts. They have puddings and gel desserts. They're all sugar free, keto, gluten free, everything free, friendly. <laughs> um, anywho, I'm gonna check my blood sugars tonight for dinner. It's Friday so you know what I'm having. It's a steak night. I didn't go for a walk today. It's been a gloomy day raining on and off. And I've been really busy, so I just didn't bother going for a walk. And you know what? I've been walking probably for 11 or 12 days straight. I've been going for a walk, so I took a break today. Maybe that'll affect my blood sugar numbers. Uh, for lunch, as you saw, I had some um, charcuterie slices and some cheese. And so my blood sugars, yeah. <laughs> What a difference, 6.7. That's strange. Is it 6.7 because I didn't go for a walk today or is it something else I did today? I did have a full coffee this morning because it's Friday. Um, hmm, I wonder if it's some of the electrolytes that I, I tasted it as I was making it. Just now, actually, so. Anywho, 6.7, uh, my numbers have been really good all week, so 6.7 is where it's at. And we'll check in with you tomorrow. Today's lunch is three eggs and four strips of bacon. I already ate one egg, and I already ate two strips of bacon. And I just twisted the bacon and I air fried it, and I made the eggs on the stove. I'm going for a hike today, so I'm having a bigger lunch. Hey, it's just about 5 p.m., and I've had a not a busy day, but a long day so far. <laughs> I did have the bacon and eggs for lunch, as I showed you, and then we went for a really long hike. Uh, we live near a provincial park, so there's lots of hikes around here. And we went on a hike, and we went the wrong way, and we ended up going on a longer hike than expected. Um, but it was good, because it was a nice, long hike, which is great. And then I came home, I sat outside for a bit, and now I'm just going to check my blood sugars. Uh, for dinner tonight we're having beef short ribs uh, in a, sort of a simmered in a curry sauce. And then probably either Brussels sprouts or asparagus. I'm not sure. I wish I had cauliflower rice, but I don't have any, so... Because that would go well with the beef short ribs. We are at huh, 6.2. We're going above the sixes these last couple days. And maybe it's the coffee again. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm not sure what's going on, but anyways, it's not that high. You know, most of the week has been in the fives, except for these last two days, I believe. So we'll have a look at it tomorrow and see how we're doing. It's day seven of week number 10, Sunday. And I had my coffee this morning. I uh, had a full cup with sweetener and cream. But I am trying to stay on track. It's 11.30 and this is my lunch snack. I have some keto crackers, some onion dip, some uh, charcuterie slices, and some Gruyere cheese. And that's all I plan on having. I'm still waiting to go for a walk or not. It's supposed to be raining since 9 a.m., but it hasn't yet. So I regret not going earlier, but I'm still waiting. We'll see. So I'm just ready to check my blood sugars. It's 6 p.m. I've been working all day uh, updating my website. I'm actually redesigning it so it's going to look nice and fresh hopefully by the time you see this video. So go take a look. Today for lunch I did have that charcuterie, some cheese, and some crackers. I had that at about 11.30. I haven't eaten since. I didn't go for my walk today because it's raining and I've been really busy. I'm um, working on my website, as I said. I'm excited about getting my A1C checked. Like, I really want to know what my A1C is. And I'm hoping um, it's I'm hoping it's between 6 and 7. I don't know if it'll be in the 5s, just because I'm in the 5s lately. Uh, because don't forget, it's a 3-month average. And don't forget where I started. Remember those days I was getting in the 10s. 
<laughs> um, so uh, right now I'm back in the fives, which is good, 5.9. So I'm happy with that, 5.9 is really good for me, especially since yesterday I was a little bit higher, and the day before I was even higher than that, I was in the sixes, so. Like I was saying, for the A1C, I'm hoping it's in the six, I'm hoping it's below seven, uh, and, you know, if it's under six would be great, but I don't know if it will be because uh, the three month average you know, this past three months, you know, my blood sugars were all over the place in the beginning. Um, you know, I had some numbers in the tens, a lot of eights, and it started going down slowly. I had some issues with the continuous glucose monitors, and that was causing a lot of stress and probably affecting my numbers. I was testing products that maybe I shouldn't have been testing those products, and maybe my blood sugars would have been uh, much lower back then as well. So there was a lot of different things I was doing. I can see if I was a non-diabetic and I was testing products, I can see that working for me um, so that I can see how it's affecting my blood sugars. But as a type 2 diabetic, I realized that it's not a good idea to be testing products because you just never know how it's gonna affect you and you don't wanna take that risk and your blood sugar is skyrocketing for no reason just because you wanna test a product. So I'm glad I stopped doing that. I actually stopped buying a lot of products since doing that as well. Like I don't keep any, you know, snacks around, any um, bars, um, any candies or low carb candies. I don't keep any of that around anymore. And that's why I've been eating more of, you know, some cheese, some deli meats, stuff like that. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this week. I'm happy that my blood sugar seemed to be under control and I'm starting to get into a routine. You know, moving um, in January, changing my the way I was eating. There was just so many things going on in my life that I was out of a routine and doing things on a regular basis that I was normally used to. So now that I've finally gotten into a routine, I'm consistent, I'm eating consistently. Um, you know, with the occasional extra coffee or sweetener in my coffee, you know, it's better than having, you know, something sweet desserts all the time, every day. You know, adding some sweetener in my coffee in the morning once in a while, if it doesn't really spike my blood sugar too much, I'm going to enjoy that rather than eating a sweet dessert every day. Um, the only desserts that I found that I've really enjoyed and haven't really spiked my blood sugars are the I Heart Fat Fudge uh, squares. Um, they've been really good. I, you know, every time I have them, I haven't noticed it affecting me at all. Um, and don't forget, I have 15% off code for that down below in the description. If you are interested, they deliver in Canada and the U.S. So if you are interested, grab that code now because. Soon the code's gonna end, I believe. Um, it was only for my viewers, uh, for the Real Life with Type 2 Diabetes viewers. Um, and at the end of week 12, I'm gonna probably stop doing these videos. So that I Heart Fat Fudge code down below uh, may not be around after week 12. I don't get any kickbacks <laughs> for you using that code. I don't get any kickbacks for saying how good it is. But, you know, we really enjoy those chocolates and they don't spike my blood sugar. So hopefully if you try it out, maybe just buy one pack and see if it spikes your blood sugars. And I buy a lot more than just one pack just because I know and it keeps well in the fridge or the freezer. So in any case, I am off. I'm going to go make dinner. We're having meatballs tonight. Just Plain old meatballs, no pasta, no rice, nothing with it. And by the way, I'm probably going to start a fast tonight after dinner, which is Sunday. So this is the end of week number 10. Therefore, you'll probably see me in week number 11, still fasting on Monday morning. And I'll probably fast until Tuesday night. So hopefully you can stay tuned and check out week 11 next week. And don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications of any new episodes or videos that I release. And don't forget to share this video with anybody who you think may benefit uh, from learning more about what I'm doing in terms of my type 2 diabetes and managing my blood sugars without medications. Until next week.